of the ESC TV. I'm Maria Rubini on behalf of the Young ACA, and today we have the pleasure to interview Professor Alan uh, Jaffe. Welcome. Thank you. Today we are going to talk about the rapid rollout of acute myocardial infarction. And uh, my first question will be, could you tell us which is the current strategy that you are using at your institution, the Mayo Clinic, to rapid rule out acute myocardial infarction? Well, we really can't do rapid rule outs. We don't have any high sensitivity assays approved in the United States. And so we really are obligated to take six hours of serial samples to evaluate such patients. Which potential differences do you see with the um, current strategy used in Europe proposed by the ESC using high sensitivity cardiac troponins? I think that we will be able to develop strategies to evaluate subsets of patients. For example, the low risk patient very, very quickly. And I think the reason that will work is because very low values will be associated with the absence of any risk factors and that will identify a very low risk group I also think that with one or two hour sampling, for sure, we should be able to exclude most patients, assuming the assays are adequately precise. I think the trick is going to be to be very careful of the occasional patient who's very early and or the occasional patient who's atypical. I'm thinking such as women who have spontaneous coronary dissection who may not have any of the other prerequisites that lead them to be at risk for coronary disease. So if I ask you, could you imagine even a faster algorithm to rule out acute myocardial infarction in the near future? What do you tell me? I think 40 to 50 percent of patients probably could be ruled out with once we develop those algorithms properly. I think another 40% or so probably could be ruled out in two hours or three hours. The rest may take longer, and there's going to need to be some clinical dis discretion done. I would also point out we need to do these assays utilizing as the gold standard the high sensitivity assays. When we use the contemporary assays as the gold standard, as has been the case in many trials, we exaggerate the benefits of high sensitivity. Thank you very much, Professor Jaffe. It was a pleasure. Pleasure was mine.